Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a review for quite a while, so I'm slowly catch up on stuff and getting quite busy with all this um, virus thing going around at the moment and everything shutting down and stuff. So I had some last minute people asking me saying, want to work from home? I need something to work from home with. So I've already done an Acer all-in-one, so we've already done a review on that one, one anyway. So I brought a new one of those this week. And today we brought a laptop, a Dell in, Inspire, Inspire 15 uh, laptop. Um, it's uh, a 15.6 inch display, eight gigabyte of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD. So it should boot very, very quickly. It's based on the AMD Ryzen 5 processor. I uh, can't remember the actual speed of it until I actually boot it up. Um, and also comes with um, Windows 10, which is awesome. Power supply. Um, so let's have a look what this is all about. So I've got it opened up at the moment. Haven't booted it up just yet. So we've got a full-size keyboard with numpad at the end, and obviously you've got a nice trackpad at the bottom here. Uh, nice uh, Ryzen 5 Pro, they look quite flashy, the logo for the Ryzen 5. Uh, and it's got a radio, um, Radeon, as I say, that Radeon graphics processor built inside. Again, full-size keyboard, uh, on and off button. At, oh, it actually got a, a like, um, fingerprint reader, thumb reader for uh, activation, which is quite good. I didn't actually notice that when I was purchasing it. Um, normal standard Wi-Fi, HD, um, it's HD's display, uh, Wi-Fi built in, and as I said, 15.6 inch display with webcam at the top there. And also I wanted to quick go through the ports down the sides without dropping this. So we've got standard um, power, HDMI, we've got uh, Ethernet, so if you want to plug it into your router with a cable, away you go. Or if you're in the business, plug it into your network. Um, two USB ports and a full headphone jack port on the side there. Uh, and on the other side, we also got a SD card reader, which seems to be much, pretty much standard on laptops, and a USB port on the side there. I think they're USB 3, but no USB, no USB C type port on this one, unfortunately, um, that I can see of. And then underneath, we've got the various um, normal stuff, ventilation. Uh, itself and uh, that's about it really so looking good um, we're gonna have a, a more closer look to see see what how this performs how quick it boots as well and uh, yeah I've got to get this up for remote access and uh, I think you can pretty much um, the, the lady I've got this for should be happy with it it's quite thin as you can see quite light from your usual laptop I'm expecting something a bit more heavy I didn't think it was this actually thin um, didn't look like on, on the screen when I was ordering it. So I'm pretty chuffed so far. It's come through, it's uh, light, ultra lightweight as well, which she should be pretty much chuffed with. And I don't think she's gonna be able to fit that in a handbag though. So further ado, let's get this booted up and have a look more closely how it performs. Well, I must admit um, it boots pretty damn quick. Um, I've just gone through all the um, settings you normally do when you first get a Windows um, boot up, you get all these little questions you get asked and you have to then create an, uh, a Microsoft account, or if you've already got one, you re-sign re into that, um, add, connect your Wi-Fi um, details, and away we go. And it's been, that process has been fast. You normally get a bit coming up saying, we're preparing your Windows, please wait. Um, normally wait around quite a while, but with the Ryzen 5 processor and the SSD built into it, it seems to make that process so much more faster and quicker, which is amazing. Uh, now we've got this um, screen demo come up now, so we get rid of that. So, um, God, I don't know why they preload so much crap onto it. So far, it seems to be quite a plain desktop. Um, the keyboards and the numlock on the side, I don't mind, um, but I wish the, um, the the actual trackpad would be more central to the actual unit. And because uh, when the trackpad's there, you feel like when you're typing in your password uh, that you're off always offset. So that would be nice more into the middle itself there. I uh, haven't set up the thumbprint reader yet because obviously it's not for me to set up because obviously it's not a laptop for me. But looking at this screen as well, I mean, it's got a bit of flex into it, which is not too bad, I suppose, um, but not as solid. Uh, feels very plastically all round anyway, but it is a quite nice looking laptop and quite a nice finish as well. And you've got all these little pop-ups popping up now for McAfee's anti-software. So I'm going to quickly have a nose under the hood um, to see what we've got processing speed wise. I can't remember the spec of it. No, it's a Ryzen 5 AMD processor. Um, so um, I wanted the process to be really quickly. 
So it's got 8GB of RAM, as it said, 64-bit operating system, and it's Ryzen 5 2500U with um, Radeon Vegas Mobile GFX, and that's run at 2 gigahertz, which is, that's not bad, not bad. And so far, the speed seems to be quite quick and responsive as well. And obviously, as I said before, it's got a 25 gig um, SSD uh, built into this. So obviously, you're going to be limited to what, how much software you're going to actually install onto this because um, it's not going to be a terabyte drive, but it doesn't really matter because the 256 drive makes a difference on boot time. So I'm going to do a quick reboot. Um, I mean, you can't see a lot much on the screen, unfortunately, but at least we can get. So I'm just going to go reboot. Um, let's do shutdown. Um, okay, and then we'll see how fast and quick it is on power, powering up um, on, and boot. So that's all powered off now. All the lights have gone off on it. Pressing the power button now. Oh, didn't press it hard enough. Lights on, it's booting. Got the Dell logo. And we see how fast window loads. Almost there. And that's pretty dang quick. I think that's fantastic. So much quicker. Uh, and there we go. So it's definitely an improvement to having an SSD drive and the Ryzen 5 processor and gigabyte of RAM. Now, if I was going to keep be keeping this laptop, I think I would take this RAM up as high as I can get it. So I, I think it goes, to, I think it can get up to 16 gig of RAM in, in this uh, in total. So that's probably what I would do. And I probably would then change the SSD drive out to something a bit more bigger spec itself. But apart from that, um, the, the lady who's been using this is just going to be using it for online shopping and using PowerPoint and, and Word and stuff, and most of the stuff she uses like emails and stuff comes from her remote desktop icon that we'll be configuring this and set up for it. So it's not gonna be huge for huge tasks, but it's a pretty damn nice laptop, and I'm, I'm quite liking it myself. Um, so I think if I'm gonna go for a laptop, I mean, I haven't bought a laptop in years or used a laptop in years, I think this would be something I would definitely consider buying. So if, um, yeah, I'm, I'm giving it definitely a thumbs up for it. I like laptops that are fast booting. So when you turn on, it's instantly on. I don't like waiting this around anymore. I don't think we're designed to wait for Windows to load anymore. We want, we want to be rapidly fast and quick. Having the SSD drive and the Ryzen 5 processor does make a difference on how fast it will boot. And it's almost instant on screen, which is pretty much good in my books. Um, I like the feel and how it actually looks and type on it, it's not too bad actually. I do like the keyboard. It does feel really nice when you type it on it as well. And obviously installing an office uh, on there, loads pretty damn quick on the Word, Excel and PowerPoints. If I was gonna be keeping this for myself, I'd definitely look at um, upgrading the RAM in it for definitely, uh, maybe upgrading the hard drive from 256 to something maybe a bit more bigger itself. Generally, it's a really nice laptop and I'm quite surprised with it. So um, hopefully she's happy with it. Um, I will find out in a few weeks time once she's had a good chance to play with this. Um, it's gonna go to her tomorrow. So by the time you watch this video, she's probably already had it for a few weeks um, anyway, but it's not a bad laptop. Um, I've not bought a Dell laptop in years, so it's my first time buying a, a newish laptop from Dell, uh, one of the newest models, and I'm very, very much impressed with it. Um, it ticks all my boxes, definitely ticks all my boxes. So um, if you like this video, guys, thumbs up. Then like this video, thumbs down. Remember, hit the subscribe my button. And we've got some more reviews coming up very soon. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And hopefully when I get my flat sorted out, because I've got a podcasting kit to unpack over there. I've got another unboxing stuff to do over here. So once I get all this sorted out, I'll be able to set my cameras up a bit more better. And I'll have a bit more space to show stuff off. And maybe do a bit more road testing on these laptops and stuff that are coming up as well. So stay tuned for all this and more.